Hey everybody, and welcome to another Cricut Craft tutorial. Don't forget to enter the giveaway by hashtagging your crafts, craft for the curve, and be sure to check out those other crafty creators down in the description box below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos on Wednesdays and Saturdays with the occasional bonus live video. Today we're going to take the pop socket that we made in a previous video and we are going to add some vinyl to it and I'm going to show you how simple and easy it is. We're going to use the new StarCraft HD because we're cutting this so so tiny and I find that StarCraft HD cuts really really small detailed pieces extremely well. Let's go over to Design Space so I can show you how to size up your design. All I've done in Design Space is made a little 1.5 inch circle. That's to help me size my design to my pop socket. And then I just picked this cute little sunflower from the images available on Cricut Access. So this is what we're gonna cut, this little sunflower, and you can see it's pretty small. We don't need our little template anymore, so you can go ahead and hit delete on that one. And then all we're gonna do is click make it. We're gonna cut this with StarCraft um, HD because it's so small and I find that that works really well on these little items. So go ahead and click continue and we will cut this on the vinyl setting. So I'm going to get it cut out and weeded and then I'll show you guys how easy it is to apply to a pop socket. that we need to do is apply some transfer tape to our sunflower. So I'm just going to cut a little piece off. I usually will just pull my transfer tape off, lay my design down, and then trim off the piece of transfer tape that I need. Super easy to do on our little sunflower. I'm just going to use my finger to stick it down to the transfer tape and it stuck to the paper because I wasn't thinking when I set it down, but it's fine. I peeled it off no problem because the vinyl was not touching the paper, it was on the backing. Now you just wanna line it up into the center of your pop socket. And again, this is the StarCraft HD, which stands for high durability. I love this stuff because it cuts such teeny tiny details so beautifully. Now that one little edge didn't stick down so great every time I tried to pull, so I'm gonna go get my squeegee and use that. The squeegees are great and they're only like two bucks, so they're really cheap, but they work really, really well. And we're just going to squeegee down the spot that didn't stick very well and we'll go over the whole decal just to be sure. And now we can peel up our transfer tape. I love how the yellow really stands out against that blue and I think it came out as a really good contrast. Again, this is the StarCraft HD and it is stands for high durability. Now we're going to add a layer of the UV resin. So again, less is more with UV resin. You can always add a little bit more. Now again, this bottle's pretty empty so it takes a second to come out, but if you have a brand new bottle, be very careful. It does come out pretty easy. So just like when we did the glitter, we're going to take a silicone brush and just brush it gently to the edges, making sure that we fully coat the entire pop socket. You'll want to make sure that you're not putting too much on the edges or it will drip over or leave you with kind of a funny ridge that may be a little bit sharp. You can sand them down, but it's just best just to be really careful. And you just press that and push it gently to the edges. This is a really easy thing to do and you can just very gently push it. And if you need to, you can add a little bit more UV resin. As you see, it just takes just a little bit of finesse and you want to pay attention to where you're pushing and make sure that you're all the way to those edges. You want to just kind of look at it from the top and from the sides as you're going to make sure that you have coated the entire thing. It gets a little harder to tell if you've coated it as you added UV resin. The first coat's really easy to see, but after that, because it's so shiny, it's really hard to tell where you've already put it. So I'm just making sure that I'm getting all the way to the edges on this and pushing that UV resin just very lightly to the edge. Now I'm looking at it from the top to make sure everything looks like it's coated and level and to make sure there aren't any bubbles. You can use a heat gun to remove any bubbles if you have any, but I find as long as I don't overdo it with the resin, 
I can usually do no heat bubbles, no problem. I'm gonna wipe the extra resin off and move the resin over and then we're gonna set our timer for four minutes. Once our timer has gone off, we can turn off our light, move it to the side and our UV resin is cured. Our finished pop socket came out really, really cute and you can see how small the sunflower is. I hope you guys had such a fun time checking out our beautiful sunflower pop socket. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. I'm always happy to answer those for you. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I post new videos on Wednesdays and Saturdays with the occasional bonus live video. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and happy crafting.